Jones the CEO. And James Mill, the steadfast supporter of our Route 99 and Route Development Corridor. Uh, we, we were so excited and blessed when we located this new facility in our community. And, um, and we're really excited with you know, Latest Ventures. And, and we just saw on our tour that they made anchor um, mooring and anchoring system for the future of floating wind and marine renewable energy platforms. Uh, and it's really going to assist the state in meeting its climate goals and helping to make Massachusetts a global climate innovation lab. So without further ado, Governor, I want to thank you for taking time to visit the town of Chelmsford during Earth Week. Um, and we truly do admire your leadership to address the threats of, of climate change and to make Massachusetts the leader in climate technology. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Paul. you. Thank you so much, Paul. Um, Good afternoon, everyone. Paul, thank you so much for that introduction. It's great to be here in the great town of Chelmsford, and I thank the members of the select board who are joining us here today. I also want to thank Dave Modell and the entire team at Triton Systems for um, an amazing tour, an amazing experience to see firsthand all the great things that are happening right here in Massachusetts because of the work of so many people in this room. Joined here today by members of our team, your team, we all work for you, um, and you'll hear from some of them, but you know, one thing that we've really decided to lead on as an administration is climate, you know, and using the challenge that climate creates as an opportunity here in Massachusetts for us to drive innovation, to drive jobs, to drive careers, and to drive investment. And not only did we appoint the country's first climate chief, we also have put big, big, big money and investments into climate technology. That's where we want to play. Right now as we speak, there are turbines spinning off our coast. All of them need to be anchored down, right? You are the ones that are going to help make that possible. We've got waves out there roiling, right, that we could harness and use that energy to do so many cool things in aquaculture and in sensing and so much more. And so it's just to say on behalf of all of us in the administration, we're really grateful that you guys are here. We're grateful that you do what you do. Um, and we want to create a scene in Massachusetts where this is the place where everybody wants to come. Not only from around the country, but from around the world. Already, we're number one in venture capital funding per capita. And a lot of that is going into the very industries that you all are about supporting and innovating. So that's really cool. We also filed a recently an economic development bill. A big part of that includes huge investments in climate technology, in addition to investments in life sciences and applied AI. Massachusetts, we've been a leader, as they say, uh, when it comes to climate, when it comes to innovation. We have the first, the country's first utility scale offshore wind farm right now operating. And today we see at Triton Anchor in particular an example of why we lead and what this industry is going to mean to our state. We had the chance to tour and see, um, also had a chance to sit for a little bit and understand more about really the decades of innovation and the many companies that were created through and out of Triton Systems. And it's really a credit to you, Dave, and the entire team, all of what you're doing. Um, I believe firmly that no state can match our innovation, can match our human capital. We have so many great colleges and universities. We just made community college free to everybody over 25 so that they can come back and get the program and help us build that pipeline and that workforce. We've been in high schools lately where we specifically opened pathways and advanced manufacturing and in clean energy so that we're going to have young people coming up through the ranks who are better supported in the STEM economy. And there's so much more that we're looking to do. No state can match what we've got. Um, and that includes all of you. So I just want to say thank you to all of you for what you do. Really, really excited to be here. We're hoping we can get this big economic development bill passed. We're also working hard to address some of the other things that we need to do as a state, which is to lower the housing cost. Um, I filed another big bill uh, so that we're going to build more housing around the state because we've got to drive down the cost of housing and the cost of rent. I grew up in New Hampshire. Anybody grew up in New Hampshire? <laughs> and, yeah. All right, Hampshire's a great state. My family's from Massachusetts, but I want you, I want you staying here, okay? I don't want you leaving. It's a great state, okay? We do a lot of great things in this state, 
And I also got to make it more affordable for you all. If you just filed taxes, we did cut taxes this year. We got more work to do, but we're working on that as well, okay? So thank you for all that you do. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to our Economic Development Secretary, Yvonne Howe. Thank you so much, Governor. Thank you to our incredible team here in Chelmsford and uh, their select board, and also huge thanks to David and Ross and the whole team here at Triton Systems. Um, so I um, have been in this role leading economic development for our state for the last year and a couple months. It's a tremendous honor. And um, prior to that, I was on your side of the table. So I spent my whole career in business in, in, in technology. And it is not easy. You know, you all make it look easy, but I know how hard it is, how hard you all have to work and collaborate together to bring these technologies, wage, wave energy converters and new ways to design anchors, to bring that all together and to bring it to market. And so we are so proud to have you in our state and so grateful for all the work that you do. And you all exemplify why we're so excited about the future here. And we're so excited about this Mass Leads Act. It's a three and a half billion dollar economic development bill with a billion dollars for climate tech to support companies like Triton Systems, to support the work here to help save our planet and fight climate change, and also in the process of that, growing amazing companies like Triton and growing amazing jobs for everybody around the state. And the other thing I love about um, Triton Systems is that you, you also exemplify one of the reasons why we love climate tech, because it impacts all parts of our state. So offshore wind starts, obviously, near the coast, but here we are in Chelmsford, and we need the whole supply chain to make this work. And that's why the Mass Leads Act is so important. It'll support every region and every kind of job. So we're so grateful. Congratulations for all your success, and we're really um, excited to work with our legislators to get this bill passed and to support you all even further. So go Team Triton. Yeah. Thank you. And you pass it off now. Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be back uh, at Triton Systems and Triton Anchor in particular. Uh, when I was here last, I had the opportunity to uh, do the tour that we had earlier today and learn a little bit about how Triton Systems and Triton Anchor in particular is going to change the world through supporting floating offshore wind. It is a big deal that we need to address our climate goals through offshore wind, through the production of offshore wind and the growth of offshore wind. And I think that the important thing to know here is that we have a huge opportunity in Massachusetts to ensure that these companies, innovators like Triton Systems, have the opportunity to stay and grow here. Last time when I was here, I learned from the team that you have some important decisions to make coming down the road. How will you decide to grow from here? At MassCEC, we have worked with you over the years, uh, provided grants through our, our Amplify Mass and our Innovate Mass programs, as well as interns, ship grants, which I know you've hired several mm -hmm. interns there. We supported you through our VC fund, um, which is our 2030 fund. But what will you do next? So what we talked about when I was here last time was the next stage that you're facing. And that stage is about scale up of the company. So you've started as a startup. We've supported you through that. And now you need to grow further. And we want you to grow here in Massachusetts. So I get excited about the Mass Leads bill because that bill and what's in there for the climate tech part of that bill is all about growth. It's about helping young companies go from the startup phase to the scale-up phase, helping companies through a couple different important economic development tools, for example, capital expenditure. How do you build that prototype in the lab? How do you demonstrate it out in the ocean? Um, how do you start those first deployments? How do you do manufacturing? Those things require capital and the capital funding that is part of this bill will allow us to be able to develop programs that will push this kind of funding out the door. As well, tax incentives. We want you to grow jobs here and we want to uh, keep companies here and that requires additional tools like tax incentives. And right now, Massachusetts doesn't have tax incentives or capital funding programs that are really focused on the climate tech industry. 15 years ago, in the life sciences context, we 
created something called the Massachusetts Life Sciences Center and gave that industry the tools that it needed to do that. And today, we are, with the Mass Leads Act, creating the same thing for Mass CEC to be able to support the climate tech industry and grow it in a way that we grew the, the biotech and life sciences industry 15 years back and continue to grow today. So very excited to be back, really excited to see all of you and thank you so much for hosting us today. Uh, also just wanted to really uh, thank the governor for being here, thank our wonderful team, uh, Secretary Howe, Secretary Tepper, and Under Secretary. Um, we have uh, just really, I, I've loved getting to work with you all and uh, just look forward to more to come as we get that Mass Leads bill passed so we can support companies like Triton Anchor. Thank you. <laughs> now I believe I'm introducing Dave Modell. Thank you, thank you all. Thank uh, so of course, thank you to Governor Healy, Secretary Salvin Tapper, Dr. Reichert, Mr. Cohen, and all other esteemed guests. Um, most of what I was gonna say was been said by all these people, so I'll be, you know, as the Navy says, be bright, be brief, and be gone. Um, I do wanna call out a couple things. Triton's history, for example, in spinning off, we have some companies that are now out in the world already public and, and doing things. FRX Polymers, which started right down the street, is still down the street, uh, making um, uh, flame retardant plastic without the use of harmful additives, a very important green innovation that's being used in products all over the world. Um, we have another company, uh, Fluence, is a wastewater treatment company. It makes a packaged uh, wastewater treatment package that uh, rural communities can use that they could never afford the ginormous concrete vats that municipalities use and we're not doing anything with their wastewater or now being able to treat the water all around the world. So that's just a couple of them that uh, have brought, uh, we think, a lot of innovation out of the Triton Brain, uh, brain Trust here. Um, and the latest one, of course, is uh, Triton Anchor. Uh, and all of you know the story already, so I don't think I need to say much other than we should not we should keep in mind not only the cost saving that it enables, but also the uh, lo much lower impact on marine life, because the current style is what they call percussion drilling, which is bam, 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 and quite, you know, you know obviously the uh, marine life does not enjoy that in a 100 plus turbine um, installation. Um, also, of course, uh, we looked at the floating wind, the uh, uh, wind energy, I'm sorry, the wave energy recovery uh, program that's still in Triton, maybe might be the next spin-off. And as uh, Tyler pointed out, is uh, very important for uh, growing what we call the blue economy, aquaculture, offshore sensing, and so forth. And our partners are uh, mostly in Massachusetts, Cape Cod, and around the uh, Commonwealth. So I wanna make a couple quick uh, just acknowledgements. One is Zachary Miller, who is not here. He's Anchor's chief technology officer. He is the creative force behind Triton Anchor. As we speak, he is presenting at the largest wind conference in the world, in New Orleans, and that's probably the only excuse I would accept for <laughs> make, having him making me speak instead of him. I, I do want to thank Dr. Reichert and the entire Mass CEC. Where's the, there you go. Um, they've been really supportive uh, and all, through all steps, as she said, and, and, quite, and I think to build on comments she made, we participated in Governor Patrick's biotechnology initiative, we founded, Ross and I founded a company that became a public company in the immunotherapy space, partly due to that funding. Mm -hmm. But the magnitude of infrastructure spend that we have to do here, it's an order of magnitude. So we're very appreciative of the efforts you're making, Governor, in the, in the, um, the act. Uh, and then I do wanna thank, of course, the uh, Chelmsford team and we're here, at, I just want to say he said it, at Crossroads at 129. This is Chelmsford's effort to uh, bring more R&D, life science, tough tech, advanced manufacturing, and taking advantage of workforce readiness grants and uh, workforce development that you got, and it's been very helpful. So with that, big thank you for your leadership, Governor, and I don't know if you have time for some Q&A, but yeah. turn it back to you. Great. Thank you. Great. 
What's that? Lol Sun. That's great. Why don't I invite Secretary Howe up? Do you want to speak to that in particular? Great. Yeah, so this bill really has three different parts. Um, one is capital expenditure. So, for example, funding, uh, sorry, and I'm talking about the climate tech part of the bill. So it will allow funding of demonstrations, of testing equipment, of uh, manufacturing support, like buildings. Um, and it will also uh, support the early deployment of climate technology. So that's one piece of it. That's the capital expenditure piece. Uh, second piece, as I mentioned, is the tax incentives. And those are really for two reasons. One is uh, specifically to help jobs be created here. And that would support existing climate tech companies in Massachusetts. But we also think that we have the opportunity to bring companies from outside of Massachusetts as well through these incentives. And the third part is operational funding for the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center. And that will be spent on a variety of different programs, uh, the main categories being workforce development uh, for the clean energy and climate tech industry, uh, climate tech economic development, so that support for later stage scale up companies, and offshore wind because we need to continue to support innovation, support workforce development, and as well uh, support our port infrastructure, which is also a piece of the capital part of the bill. And let me just add on one thing, just on that. Um, and so as, um, as our awesome CEO of the Clean Energy uh, Center explained the three parts, this is modeled very much like what we did um, in the past with life sciences. Um, so we know this is a proven um, set of tools and if you look at the investment we made back then in 2008 with Governor, uh, former Governor Patrick and the life sciences, it has paid for itself multiple fold. And so that is the intention here. All of these are investments that we know will pay back with future companies like Triton growing and doing awesome things here in our state and growing all kinds of jobs for people here in our state. So this is a, a very proven set of tools that we know is going to pay back multiple fold. Great. Thanks. And I, um, I just add this. There's something that's unique about this moment and what we're doing as a state. These are important investments that we're going to make as a state, and we're going to find a way to leverage state money and private public partnership money. We're also leveraging money that we're receiving from the Biden administration. Mm -hmm. Just down the road today, we were at Electric Hydrogen, the recipient of a $50 million award from the Department of Energy. And in the last year alone, when I made a promise that I was going to go chase every federal dollar that I could. We set up a team in the office. We put in applications. And in one year alone, we've brought back $3 billion to the state for investments in companies like this and in transportation, infrastructure, workforce. So we're in this unique moment, particularly when it comes to climate, because what the Biden administration has done is provided an unprecedented, historic level of funding for climate-related work and economic development. And so that's why this makes this moment unique in our history, and it's why Massachusetts is particularly poised to take advantage of this moment and the opportunity. So I just I wanted to add that. Um, thank you. Anything else in terms of questions? You're on to lunch. Thank you for all you do. Appreciate you, OK? Thank you.